Hey everybody, and welcome back to Only Good Comics. I'm Brant, and some big news dropped, and I apologize if I'm flipping like this. I'm, I'm recording on my phone and my screen at the same time here, so I can put it out on all the platforms. But anyway, some big news dropped today, this afternoon, from DC Comics. Joshua Williamson and Scott Snyder got on DC's YouTube channel and announced this big initiative right before San Diego Comic-Con uh, of All In. DC Comics brand new initiative that launches in October that's line wide and it creates a brand new universe called the Absolute Universe. Now, before I get into the details of all that, there's been a lot of speculation over the past few months about whether DC will create an, their own ultimate universe, right? So that's not what this is. Not really. In a way, I guess you could say that, but the existing universe, the main DC universe, still exists in this new reality. So basically, what we can glean from this video, and, and you can go check out the video, I'll, I'll drop the link in the description of the YouTube channel, maybe the TikTok as well, I don't know. But anyway, um, what I can glean from the video is that uh, in the aftermath of the absolute power event that's going on right now, Dark Side is back and he notices something is missing and he goes out to find this and lo and behold a brand new justice league is formed by superman on in the main universe and then this new universe the absolute universe is birthed from dark side's vision and all the heroes are more uh grounded they're more um they, they struggle more they're more relatable they're more human uh in in their in their journey to become heroes in this version of the world so we're going to get uh, in October, we're going to get two, basically two lines of books, brand new starts for all your favorites in the main universe, brand new Superman title. Josh Williams is still writing, but Dan Moore is going to be doing the art on that book. Uh, Scott Snyder is going to be writing on the other side of it with um, absolute Batman. So you're going to have different versions of these characters in both universes. You're going to have the absolute version and the main DC universe version of these characters. And so you're going to have lines uh of, of I mean, books in both lines in both universes. So you're going to have your, your Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, etc., in the absolute universe. And you're going to have your main one. So that's kind of where we're headed. We don't know how we get there or what the impetus is to create this new universe. It's pretty cool. Uh, they put out this image that, uh, and this is just a cropped version. If you're looking at the YouTube channel or put it up here on the TikTok and you know the shorts and all that stuff as well um but yeah it, it's obviously dark side centric uh something creates this universe and, and the way they describe the initiative this is not an event this is not a reboot this is now not a relaunch the way i would relate it to you uh is in marvel terms if you think of marvel now all new marvel now all new marvel all new all different Marvel now, all, all those kind of things, uh, or DC Rebirth in DC terms. It's an initiative, a banner that they put across uh, all their books, and it's kind of the story, this long-term story that they're telling uh, over months and possibly years to come uh, as, as they create this new universe. So it's kind of like um, this absolute universe is, you, you could kind of compare it to Earth 2 or you know any other earth that you've had concurrent with the main universe that you've told stories in. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's a really interesting route to go. And apparently they are bringing in like top creators and upcoming star, upcoming stars of rising creators to tell some of these stories within this universe. Uh, so it's really exciting, I think. And uh, I, this opens up the opportunity to get fresh takes on all your favorite characters. Uh, and I'm really excited to see what, like, I mean, Scott Snyder has history with Batman, what he's going to be able to do with a different version of Batman altogether. Uh, that's in this other universe. Uh, I'm really excited to see Joshua Williamson and Dan Mora on Superman. Um, again, we're going to probably get a lot more details at San Diego comic-con next week. And then in the months, leading up to the release and the launch of all in, in October. So, you know, we're, we have limited information right now, but enough to get you excited or at the very least get you intrigued um, by what's going on here. I'm definitely excited about this. Um, it, 
again, it gives us the possibility of more exciting stories to be told with some of these characters that maybe uh, either don't have books right now or, uh, you know, their, their stories have fallen flat or whatever the case may be. Um, this is a brand new start. And right now we don't have a Justice League in the DC universe because of, you know, them disbanding and everything. And now Teen Titans have been, uh, you know, front and center. Uh, it, it, the writing was kind of on the wall that because of absolute power and everything that happened there, that the need for a Justice League was, uh, you know, was justified, no pun intended. Um, so, I mean, it, it kind of felt like that's where we're going to head anyway. But now the, the impact of a broader Justice League kind of means more now because if this other universe is somehow orchestrated by Darkseid and he's involved with that, then it's like the polar opposite of Superman's world, right? So at some point, we're probably going to see some kind of crossover there between these two universes and things are going to come to a head and we don't know like how that's going to happen. What, I mean, are there going to be villains in this other world? Are the, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to be like the dark universe where the, the, the heroes of the absolute universe are uh, evil. It feels like maybe, um, they're just fighting from underneath a little bit more than the heroes of the main DCU because maybe the villains rule it more like the, uh, I, I don't know. I really don't know how they're going to play this. And, and again, we don't have a whole lot of details. We do know um, that Kelly Thompson's involved, uh, Jason Aaron. Um, we, we've, according to this article on Bleeding Cool, it, it looks like uh, we already know Scott Snyder's on Absolute Batman, Jason Aaron on Absolute um I mean, Joshua Williamson, I think, is not actually Superman, but uh, this article says Jason Aaron and uh, Kelly Thompson on Wonder Woman. I don't know if those are factual or if those were just, you know, rumored or, or whatever. I, I don't quote me on that. They did not say that in the video. They just said, you know, they have a bunch of top creators and all that kind of stuff. So um, I for me uh, to make a further pun about this with DC's all in, I'm all in. So uh, I'm excited about this and uh, I'm, I'm kind of pumped. And in a couple of weeks on uh, Comic Book Weekly, we will be returning for our second summer episode as we're on hiatus right now. And we're going to be talking all about this and all the San Diego Comic-Con news. So um, if you follow us, follow me over there with my friends, uh, Mike Spider Slayer and, and Kat Kamakuno, uh, Tuesday, July 30th, I believe is the date. We'll be back with a brand new episode. We'll be talking all about this and all the news coming out of San Diego Comic Con. Um, so it's going to be an exciting, fun, probably probably long night as we talk about all the comic stuff and all the comics that have come out uh, in the past month that we haven't been able to do shows. Uh, so just exciting stuff happening in the comics, and uh, I'm all for this. When when they shake things up, when they change things uh, like this, and, and again, it's not New Fifty Two here. We're talking. We're talking about an initiative that is going to shake things up. And that's frankly what the DC universe needs right now is a little bit of shaking up. So I'm excited to see what they do with it. Uh, and I, you know, I, I'm a big fan of Joshua Williamson. Uh, Scott Snyder is a, a fantastic creator as well. And uh, yeah, they're, they're kind of masterminding this. So, and Mark Wade's involved, I know as, as well. So it's, it's going to be a fun ride. And uh, I'm all on board for it. So uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts, what you think about this new announcement of All In and the Absolute Universe and Dark Side returning. And I know uh, Doomsday's returning soon as well. So just uh, a lot of classic stuff from DC, and, and but with a brand new fresh take on everything. So uh, yeah, it's fun times in comics. Mm -hmm.